But they did the deal after they'd engaged the dialogue. It was the dialogue that enabled the deal to be done. But you have to I'm be prepared to do a deal, uh, don't you? Yeah, I mean, sure. How would one engage Iran? No, no. What I would understand, be on offer? I understand that this piece of uh, diplomatic uh, machinery, a dialogue in which the United States and Iran talk to each other, isn't in itself a solution. Uh, the Security Council has been very clear about what a solution needs to entail, and that is the suspension of Iran's enrichment program. But they've also been very clear that in the con that context, it will be possible to do a whole range of other things, to discuss Iran's relations with the outside world, to discuss Iran's security concerns, to discuss other people's concerns about Iran's policies. After years of being at the heart of the, the whole UN process, what do you think this sanctions-based route can deliver? Well, I think it can, uh, if, if it is teamed up with dialogue, it can deliver a solution. It can deliver a deal which satisfies the fundamental requirements of Iran and the fundamental requirements of the Security Council. But you aren't going to get there without a great deal of talking and a great deal of give and take, and that will undoubtedly be difficult. But if you don't try it, then the situation risks getting out of control and you risk being swept off your feet by a lot of loose talk about military options. Do you think we've seen loose talk this week with even France being more belligerent than ever? The foreign minister, Bernard Kouchner, said we have to prepare for the worst and the worst is war only a few days ago. Yes, I think that it is very worrying that that is what an intelligent foreign minister of a allied country who is part of the group of those trying to get the Security Council solution uh, agreed uh, worries about. I think that is a, a cause of deep concern. I am not criticizing M. Kushner. I think he is stating, frankly, the obvious, that if we cannot make the uh, diplomatic route work, then there will be more and more talk of the military option. And he wants to avoid that just as we here want to avoid that. Uh, I think the risk is that when the process looks stalled, other options then come to the fore. Lord Hannay with that warning now.